Good morning, everybody. My name is Dennis Nelson. I'm talking to you from Seattle, Washington. And I'm going to be talking a little bit on my investment and what I've seen and what I feel we can expect. So a lot of us have been uh, playing around with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, which is cool. I love crypto, man. It makes the world grow. And uh, the one that I've been playing with right now has been the uh, Ripple coin. And Ripple, uh, you know, had a nice little price jump here over the last few days. Now, granted, right now it's down 1.9% uh, in the last 24 hours. But hey, at 0 0.20 per coin, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, now, I initially bought in uh, when it was floating around 17 cents. And I sold out a bunch, and then I rebought in. And uh, I made the mistake and tried doing the day trading thing. I didn't like that. But uh, in the meantime, I bought back in. Now, personally, myself, I'm sitting on over... 5,000 uh, coins with Ripple, and uh, I'm I'm the long-term investor, so uh, I'm pretty excited. Uh, Ripple's got some things that are going to be happening in their meeting here uh, coming up, and I think it's the end of October. And typically, when that stuff starts happening, that is when uh, the coins should, in theory, rise in value. Um, the other one that I bought was uh, BitBuy, and uh, that one's really exciting. Now, I bought into that here about a week and a half ago just because it was a true penny stock uh, option. And uh, what I like about that right now is over the last 24 hours, it's gone up 39.9%. That's cool. Well... A lot of people are like, well, that's not a whole lot if you look at the coin because it's now only trading at like three cents per coin. Well, when you can take an investment item at one cent and now it's trading at three, guess what? Your money's going up. Um, it, it's fun, it's interesting, and uh, I enjoy it. Um, you know, like I said, early on I made some mistakes uh, as far as investing. And, you know, I wanted to play the day trader. I wanted to get rich quick type of deal. And what I found is I had better odds of going up to the blackjack and poker table and throwing my money on there and coming away big than I do, you know, playing day trader on the cryptocurrency. So there's a lot of neat things that are going on. Asian markets opening up. You know, China... You know, they've got their own little deal where they've shut down the cryptocurrency and the ICOs. Big deal. You know, the world's a very, very big place. Uh, we got other parts of Asia that are opening up. And uh, with open arms, they are accepting the uh, Ripple currency. Now, the other thing about Ripple versus Bitcoin. Bitcoin, I've yet to really see a real use for it or a future use for it, um, other than using it to trade other currencies. <clears throat> However, uh, XRP, you know, they have a direction that they're going in. Um, they're going to be used for the transactions of financial services or financial needs between companies, which is really cool. Um, right now you have what's called SWIFT. SWIFT is being used as the cryptocurrency uh, between countries or company-to-company -company transactions. With that, when you transfer money or funds uh, with SWIFT, sometimes you have to wait two days or up to two months before that transaction completely goes through. The difference here with XRP, XRP is set to do the same thing. That they can handle up to serves me correctly, they're staged right now to handle 160,000 transactions per minute. That's a lot. And uh, I said, I, I could be off a little bit on my math there, but I believe that's exactly what they're set to do. So, you know, when you're talking about moving billions of dollars, 
you know, between two countries or two companies that are oceans away from each other. This is a big deal. You get your money now, right now. Um, years ago, actually it wasn't that long ago, um, when I'd go to the bank and I had a check from an individual that was banking from a different bank, it would take a couple days for that transaction to go through. They had to go through and verify and verify. And uh, if you were an out-of-state check, that could take up to two weeks. That drove me nuts. Well, what's nice now, uh, the banks that I use, I bring that check in, it clears instantly. And one of those banks is using the Ripple. That's Bank of America. It blows me away. So, again, if you look at XRP, you know, kind of the same way that you have to look at Google. When Google first started off, they were just a search engine. And they were a search engine that was piggybacking on Yahoo and AOL and um, other search engines. And Google is so much more than a search engine today. Uh, you know, you, if you look into them, you'll find out that they're a lot bigger than that. And that's because they had future plans. You know, it's the same thing with XRP. You know, it's got future plans for the network. Excuse me a second. A little coffee, a little vapor. So, probably saying, Dennis, what makes you good on investing? Well, I've missed out on many investment opportunities. Uh, there was a point in time where I had a large amount of cash to invest in. And I, uh, this is back in 1983, 84. I wanted to invest in a company called Microsoft. And the stockbroker that I went and talked to about investing in it said, you know what? Microsoft has done everything that it's going to do. They developed a operating system that you can use. They can't push it no further. Here, let me convince you to invest in Ginnie Mae stocks and bonds. And I did. And I have kicked myself in the ass almost every day since then. That stock has turned and rolled and turned and rolled. See, I would have been one of the first investors in Microsoft. Go figure that one. All right, um, there was a company out in uh, Des Moines, Washington. Yeah, you know, at the time we had to read it through the newspaper, so I'm reading this ad and it says, hey, silent partner wanted on tire company. We need $2,500, you buy in, you're a 50% silent partner. And I looked into it, you know, I was like, well, uh, there's nothing big with tires, I'm not going to waste my money there. <clears throat> it's the Goodyear Tire Company in Des Moines, Washington, and they are a multi-million dollar company down there. And I kicked myself in the ass for that. So, let's fast forward, you know, let's get into the internet set. Uh, a lot of companies were coming around, and I didn't have the money for it at the time, but I was watching AOL and Yahoo. And all of a sudden, these stock prices were soaring. And I was like, son of a, you know. And I told my buddy Dan, I said, go buy Yahoo. And he says, well, I put $10,000 in AOL. Well, he lost his butt in that one. And those that did invest in Yahoo made a good amount of money. Um, and then, of course, you know, in 2000, they had the stock market, or not stock market, but the internet market kind of crashed. And then it recuperated. <clears throat> but you also had the stock market crash. Well, you know, here we are, 2017, stock market's doing phenomenal. Um, Dow Jones trading at 22,000 plus, or wherever you want to call it. Um, things are going good. And today, you know, I own a couple small businesses that I am doing financially very well at. And... I've been curious 
in the past about Bitcoin. Um, what was it about four years ago, five years ago, I think, in the coffee shop? I had a guy approach me and says, hey, can I get you involved in the Bitcoin? $250 investment, dude, we'll set you up with, uh, what was it? It was 25 cents a coin for Bitcoin. And I passed on it. And I passed on it because I based my knowledge off of another individual who I thought was very knowledgeable. And I've later found out that he's been wrong on that. It's like, you know, Bitcoin's not really going to do anything. It's not a solid market, blah, 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 blah. Fine, I'm not investing in Bitcoin. Well, think of how many coins it would have had on $250. So, well, let me see if I can calculate that real quick. You know, um, Bitcoin is, is a phenomenal currency. Now, it's also got steep ups and steep downs. Um, but, but that's part of the market too, you know. So if I had bought into Bitcoin then, that was 62.5 Bitcoins I would own right now. And let's, let's see, today it's trading at, uh, where are we at here, 4,184. So we're just going to call it $4,000. Let's see if you can see that. That's 62.5. So we're going to multiply that by... 4,000 and uh, just so you can see that now I'll get the big screen on here in a minute Whoosh. so that would put my $250 investment at $250,000 profit well not profit it's back out to 250 but uh, can you see where it's going um, I, I think that the new age investor is uh, going a different direction now. Um, you got to remember, we're in the digital age. We're not in the hard, touchy-feely age. People are more willing to invest in things that they can actually see, but have a strong belief in, uh, in ways that's going to change the world. <clears throat> so again, if we bounce back to Ripple... Um, Ripple is that company that I, I feel strongly in. And uh, hold on here, I'm going to bounce out of my camera for a second. So, Ripple, let's see. Da, 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 da. I'm not going to be able to do it. But, you know, Ripple's still down 1.6% from yesterday. But that's not a huge downfall. Um, I, I remember. Uh, from time I, oh God, I was probably what 15 on up, you know, I'd read the stock report in the Seattle Times and I'm trying to make sense of all these prices and ups and downs and uh, you know, like IBM, I think there was a point in time where I was looking at IBM and it's like, wow, it's trading at $50 a stock. Holy crap, look at this over here. It went up 34%. Well, that 34% wasn't really a whole lot. It was enough to grab my interest. And, uh, you know, the stocks we're buying into now, like I said, their digital currency are a hell of a lot different than the IBMs or Sunkiss Orange Plantation of yesteryear. And the same thing with Ripple. Ripple is made to replace the old clunky works of Swift. And if I say, Dennis, what's Swift? Swift is what's used currently to trade or to transfer funds between corporations or country to country corporations worldwide. So, uh, um, where SWIFT is trading several hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars a day, <clears throat> XRP can do that in a faster time period. So, did you get anything out of this? This is just my two cents worth on investing. Um, am I going to be a millionaire? I can't tell you that. Um, but if you are going to invest money, the number one thing that I say is make sure it's money that you don't need. Um, if you got to pay your rent, you got to pay your child support, you got to make a car payment or insurance payment, make those payments first. And uh, 
don't cut your throat. Um, that's basically what I did. I had a couple extra thousand dollars sitting on the side. Um, more or less my play money. And I threw it in here. And now that it's invested in here, I look at it as money that's already been spent. And if it does grow, it better grow big. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. You know, what, what I'm looking for on growth is I'm looking for Ripple to be hopefully between 5 and $20 per coin in the next two to five years. So this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking long term. Make sure that you're not going to pull it out within a month. Make sure it's money that you can let go of that you're not going to miss or need. And uh, sit back and wait for the ride. You're going to see steep peaks of where it goes sky high and other peaks where it drops down way low. And somewhere in between those two numbers, it will level out. So. That's my deal. I'm Dennis. If you have any comments, put them on the comments portion. And uh, I don't claim to be a professional anything on the investment side. I'm just giving you my two cents. Thanks.